Oh, hey guys, there you are. Happy Friday. So listen, <laughs> our power went out like almost 36 hours ago and uh, I'm pretty bummed about it, but we're here living our best Amish life. <laughs> but of course that provides a lot of, provides? Not the right word. That has caused a lot of complications as far as cooking. And I mean, we did just yesterday invest in this propane stovetop, which is gonna be great for cooking and I'll at least be able to make a hot meal tonight. But today I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys a recipe that you don't need to cook, you don't need to bake, you just mix everything together and then you have a great dessert. So let's go get started. All right guys, this is gonna be a really quick video because this does not take long to make at all. So we're making pistachio fruit fluff, which I actually just found out is called Watergate salad. So we're gonna start by mixing a can of crushed pineapple and you wanna make sure that you get it with pineapple juice and not syrup. So I'm gonna pop that open without popping my nail off. Oh, maybe. Oh my God. I feel like I make life more difficult than it probably should be. And you guys probably always watch me and think that I'm such a dork because like, remember when I couldn't open a freaking carton of milk and pour it into a dish? Like that's basically me all the time. This is not gonna be a big enough bowl, damn it. <laughs> Pineapple smells really good though. Into our pineapple, we are gonna be mixing a three ounce box of pistachio pudding instant mix. It always blows my mind that pistachio pudding and pistachio ice cream is always so sweet. Like it's not something you associate with a nut, especially pistachio. So whoever thought of doing that, like they're brilliant. Now we're gonna mix this up really, really well. And now at this point, we're gonna mix in our fruit. So I have two bananas here that I'm going to slice up. I also have a can of fruit cocktail, again, in 100% juice. And I'm also gonna be adding in two cups of mini marshmallows. Um, with the mixed fruit, I don't think I mentioned, we're gonna end up draining the juice anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that right now and hopefully not pull my phone off the table again. <laughs> All right, fruit and bananas. Mm. Oh God, mm. I had not planned to floss my teeth with plastic today. All right, one cup of marshmallows and two. Now we'll mix all that stuff up really, really well. Whew, that's tough on your arms, man. And the final ingredient is an entire tub of Cool Whip. I never said this recipe was healthy. <laughs> I got dog water on me. I'm having a rough day, guys. <laughs> right, and here she is, guys. Look at how delicious. OMG. I already know what this tastes like, but I want some of it right now, okay? Mm. It's just as good as I remember. So ideally at this point, I would be putting this in my fridge so it can chill. And the best way is to just let it chill overnight. So if you actually have a running fridge right now <laughs> and you do make this, stick it in your fridge overnight, let it sit. And that will allow all the flavors to, I almost said fester, <laughs> to intermingle and coexist happily. But 
I do plan on going over to my sister-in-law so I can actually edit this video. So I'm just gonna pop the top on this, take it with me, and we can enjoy it over there. And that way I can bribe her with delicious things so she actually lets me use her Wi-Fi. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's recipe. I really hope you enjoyed. Hopefully soon we'll get our power back and I can start putting out some real recipe videos. Dear God, I really want our power back. <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel so you can continue to watch all of my antics. <laughs> and that being said guys, I will see you the next time around. Bye.